Hey kids, it's me, Tony Holmperm, the singing diva of Long Island. And today I'm doing a very autumnal, sort of soft glam kind of a drag look. I was very inspired by all the leaves that have that have fallen onto my lawn. Uh, that's why we have my very uh, uh, autumn-inspired backdrop. And uh, I decided as I said, to do a very uh, autumn-inspired drag look. Um, the palettes that I'm using today are Beauty Bay. I'm using my Fiery and my Earthy palettes. Um, they're um, great palettes. I got them on sale. They're a great deal. There's the, the Fiery. You know, I mean, if that does not scream autumn, I don't know what does. But um, also, I want to to uh, do a little bit with the earthy palette, this green one, because even in um, autumn, we still have some green that's that's lingering around. So I decided to combine using these two palettes to create the look that you're seeing today. Now, as promised, uh, I said I was going to try to do a video a week, so I had a video last week. I'm doing this today, and I hope to have this up in a, a day or two. Um, so at least I am uh, keeping my promise to myself to have uh, one video out a week. So I don't think I'm going to tell you too much. What I'm going to do right now is roll the tape back in time and show you how I created this autumnal drag look today using my Beauty Bay Earthy and Fiery palettes. Stay tuned. Okay, and I'm back. Glued the eyebrows down, base foundation, new eyebrows. They're mm, they're so they're so so. Um, I I can live with them. When when everything is is all put together, they'll be fine. Uh, I completely forgot to cream contour and highlight. Uh, <laughs> I put my foundation on, and then I went right into powder, and I was like, did I forget something? And I was like, oh yeah, I didn't cream contour and cream highlight but that's okay a lot of times when i'm getting ready for a show i don't always uh cream contour and cream highlight um you know especially if i'm in kind of a rush um so we're not doing that today we'll powder contour and highlight and it will be it will be fine so um the palettes i'm using today because i wanted to be very I'm in a very autumn mood, even though we're having record-breaking uh, warm temperatures here on Long Island. I still have my autumn background up, and I decided to um, use two palettes that uh, I, I, I know I haven't done videos with them yet. I'm not sure if I used one of them uh, just off-camera, but uh, anyway... Um, the two palettes are uh, the these Beauty Bay palettes. I have the Fiery palette and the and the Earthy palette. These are the um, sixteen, yes, yeah, sixteen pan palettes. And I I got these. Um, they were on like a really really good sale. I can't remember how in inexpensive they were. They were just so low priced. I I couldn't resist and I got them. So here's the uh, Fiery palette. And here is the earthy palette. So I figure, you know, those sort of browns, oranges, a little bit of green. That screams autumn to me. So I said, why not? And like I said, I haven't done uh, any videos with these two particular palettes. I did, I think I used the berries and the midnight palette. Um, but I haven't used these two yet. So... Uh, let's just dive into it. I'm going to start with a little... I want the outside uh, corner always to be dark. Um, I'm going to go in with uh, this color chocolate souffle on the outside corner. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Oh, and I used my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow primer on the eye. We're going to see how it looks. If this brown isn't deep enough, 
I have a uh, there's a green in the earthy palette that I might add a little bit into the brown but I think the brown is gonna be okay looking looking pretty good yeah not bad so I was looking back at some of my old makeup videos and even looks that I was I was pretty happy with I was looking back at them and I was like oh I'm not crazy about that or I'm not, not liking this and uh, you know, after having not done makeup for so long and then getting back into it it's it's interesting to see when you look back at um, looks that you've done what you what you really like and 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 what you don't just sort of interesting one thing I wasn't crazy about was the shape of my cut crease it was looking really rectangular and it really should be rounder also some of my eyebrows were started a little bit too high I felt like they were a little bit too thick so I started these lower um, and I made the the eyebrow fairly thin we'll see how it how it is when we uh, you know get to the very end okay I think that looks pretty good we're gonna start making it more orangey rusty um, let's, see. let's go in with which which color first I'm gonna go in with this color hot sauce it actually looks a lot more orangey on camera than it does in the pan but that's okay let's let's see what we get Yeah, I wasn't too sure if that color was going to look good, but um, yeah, I think that's looking good. It's blending really nicely. Let's go in with even a lighter color. Um, let's try this pumpkin spice. Color switch my brush off. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to hop off camera, and I'm going to do um, the exact same thing on the other side, and um, cut the crease. Hmm, we're, we're moving right along pretty quick. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I cut my crease, and uh, I used one of my old favorites, the uh, Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas to do it. Um, I kept my crease more I tried to do more rounded and try to get away from that rectangular look that I s saw that I've been doing recently um, just to see how it looks I may not like it I may go back to the other way we'll see when the uh, look is done um, after I cut the crease I decided to uh, I wanted to give a little bit of a green base to the crease area so I went into the earthy palette and I put down this color called acid I put that on the the uh, crease area and now I put my NYX glitter primer over acid on this side and uh, I want to go in with this this shimmer called called lime it's like really beautiful and um, I don't know if it's gonna look good but we're just gonna, we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens, okay? This is our time for experimentation. You know, I wouldn't experiment like this if I was doing a live performance. I wanna, you know, when it comes to those things, I want to always be giving my best 
look and uh, usually a tried and true look but I thought these colors would be very they would they, they, they sort of remind me of all the leaves that have fallen down outside my house on the lawn you know this there's still some greenish, but there's a lot of brown and rusty. I just thought it would be fun to sort of duplicate that. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. And um, I think on the outer edge, I'm going to go in with a different shimmer. I'm going to use this one called moss that's going to go on the outside edge a little bit right here Inside, I want to put. I think we're going to use this color, Kava. It, it looks like the brightest one. So let's try a little bit of that. Yeah, I think that looks um, that looks fun. It says autumn to me. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to do the same on this side. Um, probably a little bit of liner work, and then we'll be right back to do the under eye. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I did the uh, shimmer on the other side. I did a little bit of liner work. My liner got a little messy. I, I don't know why. And I ended up going over it with a little bit of this color ivy. This really deep, dark green. I also went back in on the outside edge with um, chocolate souffle from the fiery palette um, yeah so that's that's basically it for the um, the upper eye so um, let's finish off the bottom of the eye gonna go back in with a little bit of chocolate souffle and let's just smoke out the bottom of the eye Souffle. Color switch our brush and pick up a little of hot sauce. And a little of pumpkin spice. You know what? Hold on. Okay, I thought for fun, um, I do like a sort of a neon green in the waterline. And this is... Where did I get this from? I think this is a hard candy. I wonder if they make it so hard to read the writing. Well, whatever. It's a neon green. And I want to see how that looks. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Not bad, not bad. Um, okay, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, hop off the camera and um, finish everything up. And uh, when we come back, I will have a finished autumnal drag look. Let's hope it works. Let's all keep our fingers crossed. Be right back after this. And I'm back, and here it is, the finished mm, autumnal drag look that I put together today. What do you all think about it? Well now, I know you're wondering, what did I do when I went off camera? Well, of course, there was my uh, 
drag powder contouring and highlighting because I, I forgot to cream contour and highlight, but it, it's fine. A lot of times I don't cream contour and highlight. If I'm in a rush getting ready for a show, you can get away with just powder contour and highlight. You really can. For blush, I used my uh, Holy Grail, my Chaotic Cosmetics Bloom and Blush Palette, my favorite color, Guilty. It's sort of that corally orange, and I felt that would go good with this look. Uh, on the lip, I have this uh, Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick. I, I can't make out what the what the color is, but it's sort of a, a nude, orangey, coral kind of a color, and... Uh, I felt it would go good with this look, and I, I, I do think it does. Um, I ombre it out with a little bit of a... I didn't want to put in white, so I used a little bit of uh, concealer. Um, flesh tone concealer right in the, in the middle of the lip, and I think it gave it a really nice ombre. And uh, highlight, I have my, my Oprah highlight. Uh, again, can't make out what the name of it is. Um... But I used, I used, I don't want to, don't want to blind you, I used uh, this color, which is a little bit of an orangey tone, so I thought that would go good, you know, for a, an autumnal drag look, you know, those sort of orangey tones, and then uh, I just threw a little simple red frock on, and my uh, leopard sweater kind of a, kind of a thing, I'm not... <laughs> When I'm doing a drag look right now, I don't want to show off my uh, my arms because I haven't shaved them. <laughs> so that was everything I did. And um, what do I think about the eye look? I like it. I like it. I mean, I think it, you get like a nice pop of that, you know, sort of lime green, acidy shimmer, like when I when I close my eyes, and the rest of the time it's it's mainly that. Uh, very autumn inspired brown orangey kind of kind of tones and uh would i do this look for a performance i would say no i'm still not too sure about the uh the cut crease shape um i i i like it and yet i don't know i don't know i i i have to like that's something that that I have to I have to work on to get myself back to um, a cut crease shape that I'm I'm happier with. But um, I'll will get there. I'll get there. I mean I don't I don't hate this. If this was uh, um, if I did those eye colors for the uh, the crease and then did a, a different um, you know maybe a brighter color on the on the lid. Um, it might, it might be okay for, for performing, actually, I think the crease would have to be a little bit, a little bit higher, I think, um, yeah, I think that's the only, not the only thing, I like, I think the shape of the crease is okay, or the shape of the lid, the cut crease, um, but I think I would need to do bigger, just a little bit bigger. But it's it's okay, you know. Today is sort of a like soft drag, autumnal drag kind of a look. So uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with it for now. Now, if you like this video, then please click on the like button. And as long as you're clicking on the like button, you might as well click on the subscribe and the notification bell. This way, YouTube will notify you every time one of my new videos comes out. And uh, so far, I'm doing good. I had a video last week. This video will go up this week, and uh, I did try to promise myself that I would do at least one video a week, so, uh, so far I'm off to a good start. Well, that's everything I have for you today, kids, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.